It's an air conditioning compressor from a 1964 Chevrolet. Unfortunately, it was spitting a lot of refrigerant and oil out of the front uh, seal, and you can see all the oil was coming out and just making a mess out of everything in the front, and on top of that, it was leaking refrigerant, which was no good. Now, if you're in the car, it came with factory air conditioning, you're, you're going to want to keep factory air conditioning on it and keep it running, so we got a seal kit. You have the old parts, the old seals. After a while, they just get hard. The rubber O-rings themselves are supposed to be O-rings, but I don't know how well the camera is going to pick it up, but you can actually see the edges squared on this one. It's pretty much dried out. So, we've already put the new O-ring that seals on the outer part inside. It's approximately two and a half inches down into the nose of the compressor. And we're ready to put the new seal on. The seal that seals upon the shaft that spins around. You have a seal protector to keep things to keep the new seal from getting cut and scored as you put it on. And the new seal's got the sealing surface that seals against the shaft as it's spinning in there to keep the refrigerant and oil within the compressor. And you always have to soak things, dip them in oil, make sure there's plenty of oil on them. Fresh refrigerant oil. Preferably the old mineral oil that was used in the R12 systems. But any oil is better than none in a pinch. Make sure the seal is nice and has um, a good amount of fresh oil on it. These little tools, it's really quite impossible to do these jobs without the proper tools. It's a kit that I borrowed, an air conditioning kit to install the seal. Now on these A6 GM compressors, these compressors were used I think first starting in 1962 and used up to the, oh, I guess mid 80s or something like that, but there's a slot here. This will fit down over the shaft which has a couple of slots in it, then you're going to turn it to engage it and, and then hopefully the tool will release without too much of a headache. Let's see how we're going to do here now. Again, patience is always a virtue with these things. Done. Seals in. You look down. It's sitting in there. Won't go any further. Now we have to put another part in. That's the ceramic outer part. It's held on with a tool. It's already flat and line square, so we're not going to take it off, but that's the tool that installs it. You loosen it up. It just loosens these edges, pulling the thing out, so it'll then release the seal. Again, lots of oil, because this is going against that rubber O-ring seal. Plenty of oil. Let it feel its way past the ceramic seal. That's on. Now we can release it. As you can see, it's in there. The tricky part will be to getting that, that C-clip in there because it's going to have to go down against pressure of this seal that we put in first. So we have to push against the spring pressure of that. We'll get that on. And then we'll pretty much finish up the job with a ceramic cloth, or excuse me, with um, a felt cloth that wraps around here. That just wicks away any oil. It goes in like that. Ended by the cap going on here to keep this thing from walking out. That's pretty much it. And then I'll just involve reinstalling the compressor.